You're watching Terrier Vision. Hello, Terrier fans. I'm Tom Henson for Terrier Vision. Today in Spartanburg, the SoCon Football Media Day kicked off. We had an opportunity to hear from Coach Mike Ayers, Eric Breitenstein, and Mike Nyam. Coach, just a few days away from getting this started. What are the keys as we get into camp? Big key is get them all here. Next key is uh, start to practice and have great practices. Uh, next key after that is us coach hard, uh, give our guys a chance, and then uh, big thing, quite frankly, stay healthy. If we do that, we'll have an opportunity to be a pretty good football team. Offensively, you guys, you're going to be breaking in a new starting quarterback, at least Brian Cass, but you return a lot as far as backs and the offensive line. Just comment on where you stand on the offensive side of the ball. I like our offense. Um, I think the difference between Mitch Allen and Brian Cass, quite frankly, is, is nothing but reps. Uh, Mitch played a lot of snaps for us, was a starter, uh, but Brian's a guy, can he throw the 60-yard bomb? Yeah. It, can he run for 50 yards? Yes, and score a touchdown. Uh, he's a guy that can run it inside, outside. He's a big physical kid, and uh, I've, I've got all the confidence in the world that that guy right there can be a player for us. Also helps when you have a, a fullback like Eric Breitenstein back behind him. Well, there, there's no doubt. Uh, he is a tremendous player, uh, and what a lot of people fail to realize is uh, we, we've got two of the best backs in the country. Uh, you look at Eric and, I mean, he's all world. Uh, and shortly, and not far behind him, is Donovan Johnson. And Donovan's a heck of a player. So the, the great thing about it is uh, we uh, made a concerted effort this spring to, to get both of them on the field at the same time and, uh, and saw some good things. On the defensive side of the ball, you graduate three starters on the defensive line, but you've got some experience coming in behind those guys. We do. Uh, we have uh, some guys that, that, that have been players. Uh, again, haven't gotten as many reps as those three that left, but uh, some guys that, that uh, we believe will be good players. Uh, they're young. Uh, you got a couple of true freshmen. Our, First year guys, uh, Tarek Odom, and then uh, you got uh, Speller at the uh, nose guard position, and uh, I think Zach Bob will be our other DN. Zach's been around for a while, he's seen a lot. I, I think he's going to have a great year this year. Uh, those uh, other two, I, we know there's going to be some growing pains there, but uh, we've got the best defensive line coach in the country coaching them so uh, I'm not worried about that position I think they'll do fine you've also got a lot of experience in the in the back seven if you will the linebackers right. and the uh, secondary right um, probably as talented and athletic group as we've had when you look at the, the two inside backers and uh, Mike Nyam and uh, Mike McCrimmon uh, you look at Philip Legrand and you look at Alvin Ciano at the outside backers very uh, athletic guys, uh, guys with some size, guys that can strike you, guys that can cover. And then you look at it, our back end four, our two corners and our two safeties, uh, some quality guys, guys that got uh, a lot of great reps last year and, and made some great plays against the uh, best talent uh, in our league and in the country. So uh, we, uh, we got some work to do, but uh, we're excited about coming in and getting started. Uh, it's a new year. They talk about uh, where you're ranked here or you're ranked there. Uh, this time means nothing. Uh, you, you, we got to get to work. You, you got to get out there in that hot August sun and, and grind. And uh, if you do that and if we do our job as coaches and they do their job as players, might have a shot. Eric, uh, a couple days before camp starts, your thought as you guys get ready to get this thing going? Absolutely. Um, I'm excited. You know, it's kind of come up pretty quickly. It's been the shortest summer yet. yet. So uh, I've been down here all summer trying to get acclimated to this heat, uh, but I don't know if it's possible. Um, but we're ready to go. I'm ready to get everybody down here and uh, play some football. 
season didn't end like you guys wanted it to last year. How will you take that and use it as motivation for this season? Um, we got a lot of guys coming back and uh, a lot of guys that have a lot of experience. So uh, these guys, we're just going to all try and be leaders and uh, take this team to the next level. Um, we've gone to the playoffs and done really well, but uh, that's not enough anymore. We want to win championships. A very experienced offensive line, you as a running back, that has to make you happy. Absolutely. Uh, they, those guys do a great job. All We got four out of five returning. Uh, the one we lost was pretty good, but the one we're putting in is pretty good too. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, everybody's got a lot of experience and they do a great job. I mean, there's times where I don't even make cuts. I just can, can run freely. Um, so uh, they do a heck of a job and I'm really proud of those guys and I appreciate everything they do. Terrier's breaking in a new starting quarterback this year with Brian Cash. Your thoughts on Brian and what he's going to bring to the team? Um, Brian's a great kid and great athlete. He uh, He's smart. He knows the offense. And uh, I'm confident he's going to get the job done. Uh, he throws the ball a little bit more, uh, can sling it a little bit. Uh, but we'll see where it goes, uh, see how the offense works under him. I'm confident that uh, we can be just as successful as we were. Now, you mentioned the heat and training camp coming up. Is the beard going? Is it, what, are you going to keep it? Are you going to shave? What are you going to do? I'm going to shave, but not all the way. Camp stash. <laughs> Look forward to seeing that. Yes. <laughs> all right, Mike, just a few days away from getting this thing started. What are your thoughts as the Terriers head into camp? Uh, I'm just really excited. You know, last year kind of ended on a sour note, and uh, we're just ready to get back into camp and uh, start working towards this year. Inexperience on the defensive line as far as starters go, a lot of experience elsewhere. What are your, what are your thoughts on this year's defense? Uh, I definitely think we have the potential to be great. Uh, we do have an inexperienced D-line, but a lot of those guys are very talented and we expect a lot of big things out of them this year. Season sets up, you open on the road, and then you get a couple of home games. Have, have you looked at the schedule yet, and what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I've definitely looked at the schedule. It's uh, The SoCon uh, middle part of it is uh, very tough. You know, we play three tough road games, uh, Elon, Georgia Southern, and App State all within a four-game span. So. Uh, that's going to be pretty tough to overcome. So, as you get ready for camp, what are going to be the points of emphasis early on in the in the training camp? Uh, I'm sure for the coaches, uh, just seeing where we are as condition wise, and uh, just getting everybody up to speed on uh, the playbook and everything, all the the defenses and everything. But uh, definitely conditioning is going to be a big aspect in the heat. So, Mike, thanks for your time. Good luck this season. Appreciate it.